What's up, it's Hannah and welcome to today's vlog. I wasn't planning on taking like a little break, but at the beginning of the month, I got a stomach virus. So Sunday was like the first day I was able to do anything. It was really rough on me. Um, I wasn't really able to eat for like a week. Like I was just basically eating like peanut butter crackers. I was not able to eat. Um, I went to the doctor and Colby's doing really good and I'm better now. So I'm super thankful for that. Um, Sunday I got some new t-shirt designs up so I'm super happy with those and I have more coming out really soon. I got my first order for one today. So I have to order some mailers tonight so I can get that shipped out in the next couple days. Probably gonna order turquoise mailers of course. <laughs> Y'all are fine. It was the pigs. Matt, you're fine. He's trying to alert all his ladies and let them know the pigs were kind of rustling in there and made noise in their house. If y'all want to see when the new t-shirt designs come out, I have an Instagram for my Etsy shop. It's shop simply how. And then I'll also post updates on my main Instagram, simply underscore how as well. All of it's always linked in the description box. Here's blue jeans. <laughs> You're such a mare. Oh my gosh. Oh, you get the best kisses. You see the... <laughs> Look at your chin. It's so cute. Mwah. He's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, your new little rider's in there. Got your little rider on the way. Yeah. <laughs> Mwah. It's such a nasty day and it's so muddy. We got a good bit of rain last night. It's supposed to bring in some cooler weather tonight. Um, I think it's supposed to be in the low 30s. So I'm gonna go, <laughs> Wilbur's trying to get more hay in his bed. Um, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to go and grab some more hay. I'm going to put like another bale into the pig pen for them. I cannot lift an entire bale of hay right now. So I'm going to probably just bring half at a time. And I want to try to get the run of the big chicken coop raked out because there's a ton of feathers in there from the chickens molting. I don't want to get too close because she'll come up to me. But Squiggly is over there trying to make their bed for tonight. I'm sure they know it's going to be a cold night. Wilbur's over here trying to get leaves and stuff. I love watching them make their beds. They'll get their mouth full of hay or leaves or whatever and they'll go and sit how they want it. Even when I do put hay in there, I kind of just set it there and kind of let them fix it. I'm going to go grab the wheelbarrow to take to the hay stall. I'm so ready for the days get longer again I don't have that much time it's already like four I got up at five o'clock this morning um because I was craving barbecue and I want it so bad all oh, the little birds got out of their nest they look so cute so I got up and I just started working I made a new channel banner for my channel um and I just started working on computer stuff and then I started cooking and that's actually really good because like I've said I've been trying to get up earlier. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of this bale in the wheelbarrow and then I'll come back to get half of another bale. Okay, <laughs> they're excited. All right, I'm just gonna throw it over right here and then once I bring back the other half, I'll go in there and put it more in their house. Okay, I just got back with more hay. I'm gonna put a little bit more in the ducks stall in the barn as well. Hey, girl. She's such a good girl. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to turn this a little bit this way to kind of help block the wind out a little more. Um, you got a little bit. How are you doing, you buddy? I'm just gonna put some in here. Oh boy. And then I'll put some over here too. See. And they'll pull some in and pull some out however they want it. Oh God. Grabbed a chunk of it. <laughs> So they'll probably be doing this for a little bit um, before dark so they can get it fixed how they want it before they go to bed. I absolutely love watching them. Like Alright, now I'm going to go and grab the rest of the hay to get the barn ready for tonight. Alright, y'all probably won't be able to see good in here because it's dark. Um, this is the current situation in the duck stall. Um, I got the rest of the eggs earlier today. That's their water since this morning. Um, actually, early this afternoon. The ducks are so nasty. I'm going to rake some of this hay out that's kind of wet and put the new hay in here. I don't like using hay for bedding, but the ducks like to nest in it. I'm out of pine shavings right now because normally I like put pine shavings like all like in the front and then just hay in the back but I'll have to get some more pelleted bedding or shavings for them. They're all out here towards the back of the barn right now. I have six ducks right now. Um, there's four hens and two drakes I believe or three drakes. Uh, maybe there's three drakes. Okay, I've got this stall stripped out, so I'm going to sprinkle some diatomaceous earth around to help prevent mites and all that kind of stuff. It's all natural. I use it to deworm the birds as well. I'll have it in the description box in case y'all want to check it out. Pretty sure they have it on Amazon, but I got it at our local feed store. Pretty sure Tractor Supply has it as well. But you don't really want to breathe it, so you want to do it closer to the ground. Ducky cat. I'm gonna put the new hay in. Our duck house needs to be painted again. I want to like redo the black and I want to do the brown white. I think that'd be really cute. <laughs> Kit Kat is laying in the hay. Kit Kat, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's so sweet girl. He's so sweet girl. I have a little bit of this. Actually, it's almost a full bag of the um, pine pelleted bedding. I think I'm gonna try to put it like towards the front right here. Um, I've never used the pelleted bedding for the ducks, so I'm gonna see how it works. I'm kinda thinking about not putting water in here because this door stays open because I need this to stay dry. So I might just leave the water on the outside. I don't know why I didn't think of that already. 
let me go wet this because you have to wet the pellets so they expand. Right, I'm putting the water behind this door. Alright, watch out chickens. Watch out chickens. Okay. Got these scissors. I don't have my knife on me. These scissors aren't really sharp. I don't even oh yeah, it's okay. Might need to wet it. Rake is at. Still rake's my favorite to use to spread. Especially with the water on the outside. A little bit more hay left. I think I'm going to put it inside of the house. It's just a little bit. ducks will kind of fix their area how they like it they'll make their little nest in the corners and they'll fix their nesting box and all that okay so this is normally where they come through at to go to the back of the barn like i was showing y'all so i put their water on the other side to help keep it a little bit more dry in here where they like to sleep and lay their eggs at some of the chickens roost in here sometimes they do sometimes they don't depends on if they're free ranging they normally sleep in that corner and they normally lay in that corner and then i've got the pine pelleted bedding all up here in the front so hopefully that will help with the moisture and then i've got the diatomaceous earth also known as de on the very bottom on the dirt so they'll come in here and fix it and then some of my americana is laying there as well so this kind of just stays open but the ducks normally come in there every night and now we can go and look at the pigs and see what they've done to their little house so far my goodness <laughs> they came running because they thought i had their food i don't have y'all's food yet i'll go get it in a minute okay they definitely broke all of it up <laughs> did y'all break it up um they broke up all the flakes it looks like they normally go like inside of it so they'll kind of like make a hole and they'll go in so they'll have like hay on top of them it's so cute because you can't see like you can't tell that they're in there and then when you come out they'll like pop their little heads out it's really cute hey good boy wilbur hey good boy yeah hey, good boy yeah Y'all are so good. I think everyone else for tonight is okay. All the cats have a place on the front porch. I have babies in my room that are like a month old. If it was the springtime, the babies in my room would be old enough to come outside. But since it's still winter time, it's too cold at night. The Nurture Right Incubator that I use that I was talking about in my last video, I love so much. It's the incubator that I just hatch all my chicks out with. I had 18 eggs in there and I had 17 hatch and I just put a new batch in yesterday and it was super easy to clean out. I love it so much. The next batch that I put in, I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step how I set my incubator up, the eggs that I pick to hatch like from start to finish on how I hatch them because I get lots of questions about it and I love talking about it because I love hatching chicks and ducklings so much. And I still have to feed tonight so I don't think I'm gonna rake this chicken run out today. I um, might do it tomorrow or Wednesday but this is what this chicken run looks like. I need to get this feeder out of here. It's broken. I need to get another bigger feeder or I need to hang this one or something because this ain't working out too good. Um, I had a really mean rooster um last year and i kind of tossed it at him because he was coming at me like super super aggressively so i like try to scare him with it and i broke it tossing it towards him so the piece that like 
it broke off like I don't know where it went so I need to hang that one um, but I don't really have anywhere to hang it in here so I need to figure that one out so yeah I just want to get this raked out um, in the next couple days because there's a lot of feathers and leaves in here from molting and just you know accumulating oh the ducks are in here three of them anyway they are investigating in their new hay all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here um, that took me about an hour to do, so that wasn't that bad, but I still have to feed and everything. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. And I also want to thank y'all so much for all the support you've showed me with my beaded chokers and my t-shirts and everything. I appreciate y'all so much for the support and just y'all sweet comments. It means the world to me. I thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I'll see y'all very soon with another one. Bye.